Keeping it low key is a Kiwi badge of honour. That was a great episode of the dog show. But there is an ugly side to this chilled out, it's all good demeanour. Passive aggressiveness. So I'm just going to step out. It's very loud in here. Hi, how are you? Yeah. I would say passive aggressiveness is where you express a negative emotion, or what we might think of as a negative emotion, often anger, but you do it in an indirect way. Passive aggressiveness can take many forms, from notes on the fridge to all out, face to face, non committal conflict. I might just go get sushi by myself then. Maybe you. It can be infuriating for people used to more open forms of communication. And when you say something that they don't like, you get this face. And I can't really describe it, but there's a face. And you're like, okay, I've said too much. It can take years for newcomers to learn to read between the lines. So here's some common Kiwi phrases and what they really mean. Yeah, could do. I have no intention of doing this. <laughs> you do you. I want absolutely nothing to do with what you're advocating. <laughs> the thumbs up emoji. The thumbs down emoji. I think, you know, New Zealanders, perhaps we do it maybe more than other countries because we're not so quite so good at being uh, good at expressing our emotions uh, in a way that doesn't offend other people. Um, so I, I see it all around me and look, I probably do it too sometimes. <laughs> Well, Matt Heath wrote about this for the New Zealand Herald and he joins us now. Matt, you've made a pretty bold move to renounce passive aggressiveness. Um, can you tell us why? Well, because it's a weak, indirect way to express yourself. It's confusing. <laughs> it doesn't get things done rapidly. Pass ag is indirectly expressing negative emotion. Why don't people just express what they mean, move forward, let's get it done. We're wasting everyone's time. <laughs> <laughs> It's because we're being nice, man. I mean, like, look, this is a pretty good column for you, mm. but oh, I was trying to be passive aggressive there. Didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it hurts when people are blunt to your face. People tell me I'm too blunt all the time. I think I was trying to be more passive aggressive. It hurts when people are passive aggressive as well. But like before I, I left the house, and a person that's important to me said, "Are you really going to wear that on television?" <laughs> <laughs> that, that didn't hurt any less than someone saying, you look terrible, go and change. And <laughs> because it was expressed to me in that way, I was yeah. like, OK, I'm just going to wear this. And you, and you can suffer. You can suffer watching me on TV wearing what you didn't think was, was a great thing to wear. <laughs> uh, Matt, was there anything specific that happened that made you realise that we are just a little bit too passe, us Kiwis? Yeah, well, I've got an Australian friend that's been working over here for a year, and she said to me, God, you Kiwis never, ever say what you mean. You always yeah. talk around the issue. And I said... Oh, I'm sorry that our little country isn't flash enough and we're not direct enough and we're too passag for Australia. I'm sorry that our country isn't good enough for you. And then I realised that's a very passive, aggressive and weak thing to say. So I thought maybe I'll look into myself and try and become, a, you know, a more direct human being. And you've done that. Uh, Matt, can you give us an example of something maybe you used to say compared to how you'd say it now? Yeah, well, my kids, I'm terrible. You know, the worst... Pass ag stuff I've heard has been out of my mouth. Like, say, if I'm about to do the dishes, I'll go, I guess I'll do the dishes because <laughs> everyone else is too busy playing video games <laughs> instead of saying, come and help me with the dishes. So I've made a, a sort of pact in my house to my kids. If I ever say anything passive-aggressive, they don't have to do it. If I ever say, well, it looks like uh, video games are really working out well for you. It's a great way to spend your life. Then they can play video games forever, <laughs> without, for a week without me questioning it. If I go, I wonder if I'll ever get to watch something on the TV I want to watch, then they get control of the, the remote control for a week. So it is, those are stiff penalties for me. And so it's really, really sorting me out. And how's it working? It, it's, it, it's, it's working great. I, I haven't, like, I don't think I've seen anything passive aggressive today. And what time <laughs> is it? It's getting, it's, ne it's nearly bedtime. Is the root of all this passag just, just we want people to like us? I don't know. I think the, the root of it is being weak and, and scared. Because I do quite a bit of business with Australians, and I really like how direct they are. If, they, if, you, if you present an idea and they don't like it, they go, that's not going to work, mate. In New Zealand, we go, yeah, no, that's really, yeah, that, no, there's a lot to like in there. And then, and then they just don't answer their phone ever again. You know, I, so I think it comes from a place of weakness rather than kindness. Matt, thank you so much for joining us tonight. It would kill you to have some better drinks in those room. <laughs> Don't have to tell the whole truth. That's just the truth. This is.
This is the project. It's uh, musical chairs tonight. Guys being me, I'm being Jesse, Kate's being Kana, and Mark refuses to be anyone but himself. Yeah. I'm Mark. And we love you. I'm, I'm, I'm average about Mark. And I, I, don't, I, I didn't mean to say that, but I'm trying to be more... I, I had, had this problem today with the passive aggressiveness, and I had a situation where I had to break some bad news to someone, and I decided to be more passive aggressive, a little bit jokey about it. I thought passive aggressive was being nice. I, was, no. I thought it was being helpful. No, I can't imagine you being passive aggressive. You've been, you're pretty much a straight talker. <laughs> I don't think you have the mental capacity to yeah. be passive aggressive. <laughs> yeah. Because a good a person who's a master of this craft, I think, is is quite conniving. And you can see someone passive aggressive when you get frustrated oh, and, and get start to lose it. Up. You yeah, can yeah. see a little smile creep up on their face because they're <laughs> they're enjoying being in control. So, by your definition, then a passive aggressive person is nastier than. <laughs> than a nasty person. Yeah, yeah, yeah true. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, by your definition, Guy is a nicer person than you. <laughs> yes! I think by, by any definition. There's also, <laughs> but there's also the confusion of being direct and clear. It doesn't have to be nasty. It doesn't have to you be know, that's, that's the whole thing. It it's more fun when it's nasty, though, isn't it? It is. <laughs> Tell us how you really feel. Yeah. yeah.